I have a lot of respect for chia seeds and their transformative powers. I mean, you could throw them into smoothies, thicken them up as puddings, and even turn them into your very own pets. Chia seeds, you the true goat. Greatest of all transformers. Today I'm gonna to show you just how versatile this is by turning them into chia seed crackers. This is an incredibly, ridiculously easy recipe and it only has three ingredients. First ingredient, the chia seeds. You need a nice big cup of them. It looks like this bowl's too big for this, but trust me, it is not because we are gonna add some water to this. Now chia seeds are known to absorb at least 10 times their own weight. Even though these chia seeds are super, super tiny, when they absorb water, they just plump up. They form this nice gel substance around each and every one, and then the inside remains crispy. So just mix these around really well. Now this can sit for an hour. It could sit for two hours. It could sit overnight, it doesn't matter. Just let it sit and have some time to absorb that liquid. Maybe check in on it to kind of loosen up any big clumps. And that's it. I'm just gonna set this aside and I'll come back when it's all plumped up. And here it is, just an hour later. It is nice and jiggly, like pots of meat. If you've never soaked chia seeds before, again, this is how tiny they were. And this is what it looks like now. She is slimy. She is a thick. <laughs> you can add any flavoring you'd like. Toss in your favorite seasoning, maybe some salt, pepper, a little nutritional yeast. It's totally up to you. But one of my favorite things to put in this is furikake. It comes in a jar like this. You can find it at the Asian market. This one is norigoma furikake. So it has some seaweed, sesame seeds, sugar, salt, and a little bit of bonito flakes. That's that dried salted fish. Just gonna add a bunch of this in there. Since this already has quite a bit of salt, I'm not gonna add any more additional salt. I once did this with a furikake that had a lot of bonito flakes in it because I thought it would give that nice umami depth, but it turned out tasting a little bit too fishy for my liking, so that's why I'm using this type of furikake. If you like snacking on those seaweed sheet chips, you're gonna love this one. There are several different ways that you could bake these off. If you have a dehydrator and a sh ton of patience, you could just spread a layer of this onto some parchment on the dehydrator sheets and wait for it to become dry and crispy. But what I like to do is just put a silicone mat on top of a baking sheet, grab a spoonful and dollop it right on the sheet. Then take your finger and spread this out into a semi-thin round. Now just like the dehydrator method, you could just dump this onto the sheet, spread it out into a single layer, and then break it off when it's dried. But I find that that takes way too long and the edges get way too dry before the inside can set. So I just make a little round like this and boom, you've got your own rustic, irregular shaped chia crackers. You also don't wanna make these too thin because it'll be difficult for you to peel them off later, they'll just break and then you'll be sad. I'm almost done with my second tray here. You may need to do this in batches depending on how many baking trays you have or the size of your oven. It's not a complicated recipe at all. It just takes a little bit of time with very little effort. It's a great way to do your snack prep for the week because these are addicting. You could put these into your oven at the lowest setting, so maybe it's about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to put them in at 300 and leave them in there for about two and a half to three hours. If you wanna speed up the drying process, you can also flip them over halfway through, just gently peel them off and then continue baking and drying. Here they are, out of the oven. They've cooled down a bit and they are super crispy. Look at this. They are almost transparent. They are super light, airy, and oh, so crispy. Now here are my favorite things to dip them into. First up, a creamy ponzu dip. Mix some good old full fat mayo, a little bit of ponzu sauce, and some freshly grated ginger. That's it, a creamy and zingy dip. And my ultimate favorite, ahi tuna shoyu poke. 
In a bowl, add your tuna, sweet white onion, scallions, ginger, soy sauce, sesame oil, and sesame seeds. Then just mix it all up. And there you have it, super easy furikake chia seed crackers. You ready to hear this crunch? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's taste it with some uh, poke. Heaven. Oh, the creaminess of the fish, crunchiness of the cracker, perfect. I highly recommend making a big batch of these and storing it in an airtight container so that it remains crispy. And then eat them as is or dunk them however you'd like. See you next time. Oh, yeah.